So here we go. What it's time for now is my favorite part and the most important part, and that is adding the content. We're going to go ahead over here to Highwriters, which I'm on the site right now, and I'm going to get the Photoshop articles that I've had written for some time now. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy the articles, paste them over on my blog, and do other necessary things that you're also going to watch me do. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So what I'll do is I'll click click here or click to view more details. Scroll down, I see that I have four different articles right here and I can just grab one of them. I can grab one, go over here to my blog, post, go to add new post. And of course you have to format it, you have to space it, whatever you need to do. Cause a lot of times it won't auto format. Okay, paste the article, see it didn't auto format right there, so I'll just have to break it up into paragraphs myself. Okay, let's see, it's for professional. Okay, look like that's the complete article. So this is super important. You know, your title is going to be everything. Clickable links within your title, within your content is going to be everything. So what you want to do is you always want to have optimized titles and use stuff that people are actually looking for. And of course, to find that information out, you will just use one of the keyword tools. As you can see, if I have free access, to Adobe Photoshop CS6, which I do. You know, I got it from a good friend of mine, so I have those files. If I have access to that and people are looking for Photoshop free, I have to see what keywords they are actually typing in so I can possibly be found, you know, hopefully be found whenever they type those into Google organically without me paying a dime for ads, just organically great content and giving value. So when I scroll down here and I type in, Photoshop free on Word Tracker. I can scroll down and I can see Photoshop online free 22,000 times per month that's typed. Of course, the competition is very high, not very high, but it's high, is 14 right there. The lower the better. Remember, always remember that. So I can, you know, I should find something a little bit, you know, less competition. Let me see, 14 is not the worst in the world, but it's still kind of high. Let's keep going, 16. And sometimes you can still rank for, for um, you know, competitive keywords because if you are giving the most value, people are gonna share your content more and they're gonna visit it more, they're gonna stay on the pages longer. So sometimes it's not, you know, all the way off grounds or off limits. It, it just depends on, you know, how competitive it is. If it's 99, you better forget about it. But something like 14, that's that's a potential. Let's just see if we can find something with a little less competition. We don't want to, we want to always have, you know, 800 to 1,000 searches minimum a month. Anything with four or 500 searches, you don't even want to waste your time on. You know, just try to go for 1,000 if you can. Let's scroll, let's see, we're below the mark. So what I'm, a probably, what I'm probably about to do right now is just go for the, the one up here. Photoshop online free. And I'm gonna just play around with the titles, add what I want, you know, you don't never really wanna take away anything. You can reword it, you know, if it's free Photoshop online, you can do that also, but you just want to have those, um, key, these, these keywords right here. How to get Photoshop online, you can, let me see, for free. How to get Photoshop online for free. That can be a post right there. But the thing about it is, before I say this, I want to find things clickable or keywords that's clickable inside of, you know, I want to create these clickable links inside of the article so people will be able to click through 
and access the CPA content locker. So that's what I'm about to do. My main keyword is Adobe Photoshop CS6. So I can just basically highlight that. I can make it bold so I can know so I'll know this will be one of my clickable links. And you know I can do that as many times as I like. Let me space right here. I can just do that as many times as I like. You don't want to be spammy with it, but a few times throughout is not bad at all. I gotta add CS6 in there also in my title. How to get Photoshop? Uh, let's see, Photoshop CS6 online for free. That is our beautiful title right there. And everything that you see me put bold right there, that's going to be a clickable CPA link. So if you're reading an article and you see that link is clickable, you're most likely going to click on it. You know, nine out of ten people is just going to click through just to see what happens, and they will be redirected to my URL file locker whenever they complete the offers. Of course, that's when I get paid. So I'll go ahead and do that for now. Let's go over here to advance. Make sure we ain't got to do nothing over here. You could play with the colors if you want to right over here. Let's look around. Everything over here with the Yoast plugin, I usually just leave everything just like this. But if you want to play around with the with the social media part, you can. Okay, when I click on document right here, what I want to do is I want to enter my keywords and I want to put a featured image. This is very very important. You know, you definitely want to you definitely want to do this. Tags, let me just put some tags. Put that. Photoshop, let me see. Photoshop of CS6. Just keywords that you think people are typing in on Google. Okay, so as you can see, I put, I put a, a few tags here. You don't want to put too many. Just, just put what's going to, what people can potentially type in and will potentially type in at Google and what's going to help you rank. So I put Photoshop online free, Photoshop CS6, how to get Photoshop free, Photoshop CS6 free, Photoshop CS6 free trial, just in case somebody look for a free trial, but they'll end up getting the software free overall if they complete an offer. So that's good to go with that. And I want to put a featured image right here on the post. So what I'll do, I'll go to a site called Pexels, that is P-E-X-E-L-S. And I'm going to type in photography right here. And I'm going to search whatever your, um, your niche is, just type it in. You can get a lot of free, uh, cool free images over here. And because, because this matches up with Photoshop, you know, people taking photos, I'm going to simply use this one right here. You don't need to be a huge image. Let me use the 641 download what I like to do is I like to and you want to do this also just in case people searching for images in Google you want to make sure that the let me show you let me rename you want to make sure that your photo is described just like your just like your whole article and your whole niche blog is so you want it to match up so I put I'm gonna put Photoshop this is going to be the um, the image name is super important if you want your images to show up in Google also. Photoshop CS6-free-online. And of course, Google will, you know, Google's super smart. They'll combine it if somebody put Photoshop CS6 free and they're searching for images. And, you know, what it'll do is people will find this image and it'll link them to the, the niche blog. So I put Photoshop CS6 free online trial. And I can just save the image name like that. And that's how I'll do it. And what I'll do is I will go right over here to the post. Oh, shoot. Let's see. Set featured image. Upload. And I'll upload that photo. That's my featured image. 
and that feature image is now uploaded and last but not least what I want to do and of course what you want to do also is you want to add some kind of call to action in your article and that's with each article so even though I have clickable links right here that I'm you know I'm going to go back and add in my CPA links and you'll see exactly how I'm doing that even though I'm doing that I still want to have some kind of call to action so what you can simply do is and what I see working a lot people put like a bullet point right here let me see if we can find a bullet point they'll put like a bullet point like that and they will simply write it out click here to get Photoshop CS6 free and they'll simply highlight that make it a clickable link that'll be the CPA offer and bam that's what you have to do so what you'll see me doing in a later video after I create my CPA content locker which I usually do first but you know of course I'm not I'm not gonna do it right this minute because I'm you know I'm, I'm more content focused in this specific part of the training but you're gonna see me add in my CPA links right here so people can check out the article click through and they'll access the CPA content locker but overall when it comes to content everything is just fine and everything is perfectly how we want it we added in the content we added in a call to action right here added in our tags over here along with our featured image and we added in our bold highlighted um, keywords right here within the article and of course we got our SEO optimized title so all we have to do now is of course add in more articles and start adding in our CPA links but remember what you don't want to do is forget your call to action down here this this block right here you see it's, it's green if it was red that means it's not it's not really good you want it to be green down here so Mine is green, so it's good to go. So everything is good to go from here on a SEO standpoint. And of course, another good thing to do is add in images. Before I close out this part of the training, let's go ahead and um, add a quick image. After that, we'll be we'll be ready to roll. Let's put this one. Redownload small. Let's see. Okay, it should be downloaded. There we go. You can just add in a little image. You want to make it look good. Just because you're doing this for SEO, you want to do it. These are humans searching for it. So you want them to have a good first impression. Photoshop free how to get online CS6. Okay, just add in some keywords right there. So just in case people type in, I'm searching for photos they'll find that photo let's go over here to our blog add in an image upload let's throw in an image right there looks very very good and let's scroll down here and we can publish our article publish let's visit the site there we go it looks so good of course, you want to delete this hello world right here. You know, whenever you install WordPress, they all automatically have that there. But, you know, we'll, we'll go delete that in a second. But it looks very good, as you can see. Look at this once I click on it. How to get Photoshop CS6 online free. We'll also do the category. Scroll down. Look how nice it looks right there. Got a nice article. Everything will be clickable. Scroll down. Got our tags right there. And it just looks perfect. This is all you have to do. In order to be ready for the search engines that's all you got to do let's go ahead and change let's go ahead and change some categories to change the categories let's go to categories what I like to do is I like to make everything SEO optimized I mean everything so I would literally name this category Photoshop CS6 I'll even put free right there. And right here, you got to put dash between each keyword. I put the little dashes. And I'll just update it. Let's delete that random post that we've seen. All post. 
trash. And another thing that I always forget to do on all of my blogs is go to general. This is very important. Right here on general, what we can do is we can just put something right here. This is called the Photoshop blog. Gain access to Photoshop CS6 free. Basically, what you want to do right here is you want to just put something that describes what you are doing, what what people are accessing whenever they come to your blog, of course. And I put gain access to Photoshop. Make sure I spell it right. Yeah, Photoshop CS6 free. And the site title is the, the Photoshop blog. And I can simply save those changes. And I can visit site. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Another cool thing what I love to do is I like to really make one post the, the main, the first post that people see. You know, you can do it like this or I can have it to where as soon as people come to my blog, they will see only this post. And I recommend that you do that. You know, highly recommend that you do that because it's putting all the attention on your main article. So make sure it's the, the main article that you love. So if you have a gaming blog with 10 articles, 10 articles that you love, the most important one, and of course the one that you love the most, you want to have that at the forefront. So how you do that is you go over here to dashboard, and you're about to see right now, before I do this, if I put another article, it's gonna be right up under this article right here. And it's just gonna keep on going as if you are just scrolling down somebody's blog looking at multiple posts. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make sure that's the first thing they see. So I go to settings, reading, Click on right here, static page. Right there, I click, I choose to uh, put it right there. So it'll highlight it. And then I will put, I could put a sample page or a post. What You know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it right now because I haven't created the page itself yet. So, you know, if you wanna, basically that's how you do pages. I, I forgot that I just made a post. So if I if I made a page called How to Get Photoshop CS6 Online for Free, I can put that page first as soon as people come in. And because I mentioned it, I'm going to go ahead and create a page real quick. All pages. Just to show you how it looks. So it's, it's basically like a, you can do like a, a welcome. You know, you can have something show up as soon as people in, um, go to your blog. Gain access, or I could just put Photoshop CS6 for free. Get Photoshop CS6 for free. And what I'll do is I will put an image right there. You about to see exactly what I'm talking about. And you can just put a short description if you want to. Thank you for coming to my blog. Look around and you may just get a treat. Yes, that's right. You today, you will gain access to Photoshop. I want to mention your keyword. CS6, 100% free. So you don't have, remember, you don't have to do this. You could just leave it how it is and just as, as soon as people come to the blog, they could see multiple posts instead of this welcome, this welcome page right here. This is just like a little welcome page you're about to see. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. This is completely optional. I just like to do it because I think it make, it make it look better. Let me go back to reading and static page. Home page right here, right beside home page, right here. Get Photoshop CS6 for free, the, the page you just see me make. Save changes and watch this. So now when I go to the blog, watch what I see. There we go, I see that page right there that I just created. So basically, whenever this happens, what you have to do is you have to keep your post scrolling also. So you have to go into the menu and make sure your posts are still showing up. That's the thing about this. Whenever you do this, it'll take away all your posts from your homepage and people can't see your posts. So let me go back here and change it. 
reading your latest post and go and save. So of course if you want all your posts scrolling like that you have to go into the menu but you know it's completely optional to do it like that anyways and of course when people come to the blog they see the post scrolling right here. But this is all you have to do when it comes to adding the content. We have everything that we possibly need in order to start ranking on on the you know in Google very soon in on all the search engines. We have everything right here, nice photos that are optimized, nice title up here, nice logo, categories, tags, we have it all. We have it all right here. So when it comes to adding content to your blog, this is all you have to do. No matter what niche you're in, please follow each step with doing this because if not, you will most likely never show up in the Google search engines. Remember, you will see me go back and add in my CPA links right here. And of course, down here, I'm going to make that bold. It's going to be clickable. And everything within the article is also going to be clickable. So we got one article posted. Let's go ahead and grab some more content so we can get that posted to our blog also. Remember, if you got three to ten posts, you are doing good. And always remember this. The more content you add to your blog, the more likely you will be found in Google. So I'm going to just throw that out there because some of you guys may have a content budget of $30 and other, you know, some of you may have a $300 budget. I just don't know, you know, it depends on the individual person and your budget overall. But I would highly recommend every paycheck you get from your job or whatever, just invest in some content because the more you invest, you know, you basically get out what you put in. And if you got 10, 15 articles, real good articles from high writers, it's nearly impossible for at least one of those, at least one of those articles, not to catch some kind of traction and have you ranking in the search engines. And of course, have people going to your CPA content lockers. It's nearly impossible for that not to happen. So content is king for sure. So let's go ahead and grab another, another article. Okay. This one, I'm going to use this title right here. It's a good title. Go to our blog, and I'm not going to add every single post, but you know, adding a couple just so you can get the hang of it and see how it works is really what I want to do. Because a lot of times people like to, like I've, I've paid for trainings, and people like to spend too much time talking about things that's not necessary. You know, I can easily just keep on adding a bunch of posts in here just to show you how the same thing works over and over, but that's not important. You want to cover the most important things, and that's exactly what I like to do. So me adding two articles is what I'm going to do for this part of the training. Okay, let me see. Photoshop CS6 Key, key Gen Generator. That's a very, very, very good term to, um, to put. It's a very good term right there to try to rank for. See, CS6 key gen free, free download. Because a lot of times people are not looking for their entire software. They already have it. They're just looking for, you know, the private key. And if they're, if they're getting it for free overall, this will also work. So I'll put it two times right there. And let me just free Adobe Photoshop CS6. Let's just put that right there. So we'll have three bold right there, and we'll have anchor down here. Let's see. Have a nice anchor right here. I'll call it anchor, but it's a bullet. I'll have a nice bullet right here. You can say different things down here if you want to. You don't have to copy and paste the same thing and just see what works best. And of course, people will, of course, people will click there. Let me get the title that I use. Hire writers. I like this. This um, this is not searched for. I don't think more than like seven seven hundred times a month, but it'll still work because when when I post content, I post a ton of it. So even if some of them are below eight hundred to a thousand, if you got 15 articles, it don't even matter because, you know, even if that catch traction and get five or 10 people a month on your site, that's still better than nothing. 
It's just if you only post in three articles, you don't want to waste your time posting no articles that only have a um, 600, 700 searches. You just don't want to do that. You want to have some that's, that have searches, but not too many searches. So I highly recommend when you are you're looking for how many times people are searching for your keywords, you, you stay in the range of 800 to 4,000. If it's 800 to 4,000, that's great. But if it's like the one that I'm choosing with 12,000 and the competition is not bananas, like 99 or anything, you can go for that also. But just the number one thing is to make sure that the competition is not too high. So it, it, even though I say stay between 800 and 4,000, you could have one that with 10,000 searches and low competition. So you'll just have to be the one to measure that because I'm not sure exactly what niche you are going to enter. But you don't want nothing that you're wasting your time on. And you definitely don't want nothing that has too much competition because you will never rank in a million years. Okay, so I got the title, got the content, got the boldness. Let me go over here. Go to tags. Photoshop. I got tags right there. Okay. Photoshop CS6 free. Okay, they got tags right there. Different featured image. Let me go over here. Find a find me a nice image. Find another one. I like this one. This one cool. So I'm gonna do a free download. Keep that same size. Let's see. Of course, gotta change the the file name for the image because I want it to rank. Photoshop. Photoshop. CS6 free trial keygen. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead over here. Let's go ahead over here. Set featured image. After I do that, let's go ahead and upload our photo. After we upload our photo, we're good to go. Same will go with this. I will come in and right here, I will just highlight that. And you'll see me do that. I'll highlight it. I'll click the little link right there. And I'll put my CPA Content Locker link right there, right here, right there. And of course, you know, most important, the call to action right here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and get that published. Visit site. Now, as you can see, we have two beautiful articles right there in the Photoshop niche for our blog. Another thing you can do is you can go over here into the menu if you want to add side banners, appearance, and go to widgets. You can add in banners if you like. So uh, let me go to text. Scroll up to text. Sidebar should be here. Banner here, so you can add banners on the side also. Let me just make sure this is the banner spot. Scroll down, banner here, so you can add a nice banner right there if you want to. And of course, you need the HTML code, but that's all you need to do. Everything that I just done in this part of the training is super important, so please go back and follow it if you have to because it's needed in order to rank in the Google search engines. But I'm really looking forward to showing you the rest of the training because of course, I'm going to go into promotion. I'm going to go into backlinks and I'm going to add in my CPA content locker link right in where I showed you I was going to add them. And of course, I have to create the locker also. So you're going to see me do all of that stuff in the next parts of the training.